I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I I'm doing well, naman. Adjusting to the Philippines because it's my first time to be here for such a long time. Talaga? Yes. Bakit saan ka nakatira dati? Um, I grew up in the States, so I lived there pretty much my whole life. And I've only been to the Philippines for vacation lang, but usually sa ano, sa Cebu or sa Kitapawan. It's my first time here kasi sa Manila. Mm, oh, kumusta naman ang Manila? Um, it's good, but unfortunately, I don't get to go around dahil nga sa quarantine, so I'm always indoors mm-hmm. and I don't get to experience much. Yeah. Ah, true, true, true. All right. Um, so you grew up in the states your whole life. Where? Where in the states? Um, most of my life I lived in New York. I was born New in Florida, York. raised in New York. Yeah. All right. All right. How How old are you? I'm 25. 25. Okay, mm-hmm. so you studied there, you graduated college there, everything was... Mm-hmm. Everything in the States, yep. Where did you study college? I studied in Brooklyn College for speech pathology. Mm. All right, all right, that's cool. The last time I went to New York was like, what, maybe uh, seven, eight years ago? It's a oh, long wow. Time. Matagal na yun. Long time. Where did you go? I thought... Toys are, uh, uh, what's this, um, um, what was it called, Times Square? Ah, oh, Times Square, dun lang? Yeah, Times Square, Ay. tapos, ay, kasi bata pa ako eh, yun ano, pumunta kami sa, yung Toys R Us na may, yung may ride pa sa loob. Ferris wheel! Oh <laughs> yeah. my god! Wow! <laughs> oh, ang tagal na nun, tapos Wala na yun. Na. Oo nga eh, sarado ay. na yan eh, tapos yun ano, um, yun sa sabret yun yung mga yun hot dog sa mm-hmm. sa baba ayun wala lang oh, yun wow. yung mga naalala ko dati yeah you tapos, should visit eh, again kasi i know i should diba tapos yeah. ano nung bata ko takot ako sa subway yung mga ganun kasi oh. yun, uh, stories about it yung yeah. mga ganun yun yung yun, yun, subway and stuff like that mm-hmm. not the best All place right. but it's fun I know, I know. So, can you speak Tagalog at all or not really? Oh, no, I could speak Tagalog naman, but usually Taglish because English is my first language, then Tagalog, then Visaya. So, I get mixed up sometimes. Okay, okay. But you're fluent naman in Tagalog. You can, kaya naman. Kaya naman kung, ano, itatry ko talaga. <laughs> ah, okay. Gets, gets, yeah. gets, 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 gets. All right, all right. Okay, so... Tell me about your uh, experience in PBB. How was it? Oh, my experience with PBB was a roller coaster ride. I mean, in the first place, um, I was part of the Kumu campaign. So there were only three spots left and I had to compete with 117 other aspiring housemates. So that in itself was a trip. And then um, fortunately, Naman, for my group, I won with around, I think, 79 or 80 something million. Um, Dias, and I was the last housemate to get in. But before that, I wasn't sure if I would because um, nung dumating ako dito sa states, I mean sa states, sa Pilipinas, I became positive with COVID. So then my being a housemate wasn't even sure. And that in itself was journey. So that's why I got the name of the Singtur National Survivor ng New York because I was positive. But Gratefully, they let me in, and I was the last one to get in. But even just a couple of days inside the house, um, I became a task leader for um, our boss challenge, which meant I had to lead my own team and everything. And um, yeah. our concept was survive in. So we had T-shirts with like um, inspirational quotes and everything, spreading good vibes for mm-hmm. people. That was my concept for it. But I feel like I never really got to rest in the house because parang I felt pressured all the time. Lagging, ano, my ganap and Kuya was well, always having me do something. Because if I wasn't doing the boss challenge, he was having me sing or like learn new songs that I've never heard before. Parang ganun. So, um, yun, may ksi lang yung oras ko sa bahay, pero super fun. And it was really transformative because the reason why I joined PPP in the first place was because I have a lot of self confidence issues. But once I joined the house, Kuya told me talaga na parang, Gail, you need to have trust in yourself. There's a reason why you're here and that sort of thing. So after getting out of the house, I learned to trust my gut 
with everything that I'm doing, whether it be live streaming, whether it be here with you, boss, Gino. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been really transformative. And I think it's the best experience of my life thus far. Wow, well, that's good. So like, so for you, you didn't have down days, days where like, like you guys just did nothing. You guys are just sitting down, like eating chips or something. I mean, there were periods the man, but um, as a nervous person that gets anxious sometimes, I'm always thinking, is something going to happen? Is something going to happen? Parang ganun. Um, but there were down times, and during those times, we would bond with each other. And like I said, since I was the last housemate to get in, I was trying my best to like get to know the other housemates. Because usually friendships are already formed, groups are already formed. So I really wanted to get to know everyone during that time. All right, all right. So like, why did you, uh, was your parents always abroad? Like, were mm -hmm. like, why did you end up growing up in the States? So um, my parents um, started working in the States and um, when they met, you know, eventually they got together and everything. And then I came into the picture. So I was born and raised in the States and um, I guess they were just looking Teens, all the help their families, um, and there because um, you know the dog works a lot, and it's big help to their big families here in the Philippines. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much why. And then I just continued my studies and everything. Pero thankfully, naman, even though I was raised in the States, um, they still implemented a lot of Filipino culture into my life. Aside from just watching Filipino TV and everything, um, my parents were still very strict. Hindi sila yung liberated na type compared to my American mm -hmm. friends who always argue with me because, Gail, why don't you um, just hang out with us, whatever. Like, you're 24 years old. Oh, my God. And then ako naman, I'm like, guys, my parents are Filipinos. They're very strict. And if I don't, I'm probably going to be disowned. So, ganun. <laughs> <laughs> that was how I was raised. Uh... Oh, okay, that's good to have some Filipino culture still. Mm -hmm. It's it's good to have that. So like, was there a moment like in PVB, like you felt was super difficult? Mm -hmm. Difficult. I would definitely say it was the moment like that week where I was the leader because um, I don't know the housemates really that well, and I had to lead them. And then they had to put their trust in me. And who am I to have their trust when I've only known them for such little time? And at the same time, before that, um, before being an in-person housemate, I was virtual. That was communication wasn't really easy with the housemates because they can't hear me sometimes. Sometimes I can't hear them. Ganun. So medyo mahirap siya. But um, especially there were times where I was talking to Kuya, tapos meron siya mga questions about my products or about um, why I'm doing what I'm doing, parang ganun po. And parang nahirapan talaga ako kasi um, I could kind of feel that the other team was doing better or they were more organized in that sense. But for mm -hmm. me, I felt down, like I wasn't doing enough to the point that I even asked my teammates, like, are you even happy that you're in this team? But then they were telling me, no, that we have so much trust in you and your vision because your only intent is to spread good vibes and positivity in a world where there's so much negativity. That was my concept for um, surviving. And um, that was the hardest moment in the house for me because everything that I was afraid of in general was coming back again. And I tried so hard to mm -hmm. get rid of it before getting into PBB, but it was all coming back. But thankfully, Kuya, steered me in the right direction naman. So parang, Gail, wake up, you're here for a reason and don't be so down on yourself. Wow. May I ask, what, what, what does your parents do in the States? My parents are ano, physical therapists. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So you lived a relatively comfortable life in the States? Yes, yes. Relatively comfortable. All right. That's cool. So do you have, uh, do you play sports? Do you have like a favorite sport or something? I would have to say that I'm like athletically challenged, but um, right. I'm kind of okay with badminton. I did do some martial arts in the past, but if you give me a ball and something, I'm not that great, but I'm willing to try. If 
given the chance. I will practice. I am an Aries. If you need me to be passionate about something, to focus on something, I will do it because I'm a bit of an extremist and I will try so hard. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, yeah, just willingness to try is very good. So like, how is it like, I've always wanted to ask this, like, mm-hmm. how is it like growing up in a society like in the states where like um being filipino is a minority mm-hmm. rather than here na, you know we're the majority here how right. is it like growing up my god there's so many things i could go on for hours about this but um when i was a child it was especially difficult because um i would get name called before na parang chink or they would make fun of my name. Parang ganun. They're like, I Gail Banalis. Oh my God, bananas. That's so ugly. Ganun. Tapos, minsan, um, even in the street, on the subway, I would get um, um, racial remarks na parang, oh, you rice eater, ma ganun. And even as an entertainer, as a performer, um, I did try auditioning for different productions. And then they're looking for an Asian person. Tapos, I don't fit the bill. Kasi parang, I'm not Asian enough for them or um, I'm not chinky enough for them, parang ganun. And even just in theater in general, um, because we're a minority, we're not exactly the ones they look for in um, in TV, in film, but only in the recent years, parang nagiging mas popular na yung Asians, ganun. Um, it's hard because as someone who's very passionate about performing arts, we're not always given the opportunity, which is what I think is so beautiful about being in the Philippines, because it's a homogenous country. So at least, you know, majority is Filipinos. And whereas in the States, I kind of have to, um, I stick out like a sore thumb, but I'm not exactly the one that they're looking for. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Mm. Okay. So like what, what, what sticks out to me is that I grew up loving Sesame Street. And you acted in Sesame Street. That's crazy. How yeah. did that whole process go? How, oh. was, how was that whole experience? Okay, I will tell you. Um, so when I was a kid, um, I was ambitious like feeling era talaga. I would tell my mom, oh my God, I want to be on TV. I want to be like Britney Spears. Ganun. So yeah. um, she found a manager for me. And eventually they had me do some auditions. So I did some like, um, music videos for kids, uh, Nickelodeon, to the point that um, Sesame Street was interested in having me as well. So when I did Sesame Street, they would they asked me to sing, they asked me to dance a little bit, um, and then I got picked for some episodes, thankfully. Um, it was a great experience because you get to see everything um, behind the scenes. And then I was really mm-hmm. shocked that the puppets are handled by people you wouldn't expect. Like, for instance, the Elmo is handled by a very big, muscular, bald man, you know? And he's like, hello, I Elmo! Parang ganun, it's, it's super weird. But when he's not doing the Elmo thing, he's like, yo, what's up? What's up, everybody? How you doing? <laughs> Parang ganun, super weird. That was for Big Bird naman. He's an old guy, and he's actually holding the actual head itself. So it's really heavy, and then he has to take breaks in between takes and um oh, wow. yeah everything is so shocking but it's it's so fun because people there are so passionate about what they're doing and i feel like that's what's so beautiful about acting and just film in general that the people that are there are there for the craft and they're there to make people happy so that's you know, it's just an honor to be around people like that so, so did you have like speaking roles or in Sesame speaking Street? Roles. i think i had to say something really small but but um, it was mostly just um, staying near the characters themselves and then like clapping because it's usually the puppets who are talking. And then the ones that get speaking mm. roles are the ones that have been doing it for years. And I was a newbie at the awesome. time. Yeah, but then they had to kick me out because um, I got too tall and they had to have me sit on a <sighs> box. So after that, they're like, Gail, I'm so sorry, but you're too tall for Sesame Street now. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, so it broke my heart. But it's just life, right? Move on. Na lang. <laughs> so how tall are you? I'm 5'7". Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. So you had some work also in Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. Yes, I did. 
um as well. I, as i was one of the okay so there's an artist named dan zanes um and he's a singer he makes like folk music for kids and everything and i was like one of the kids in the music video that dances means that my close up means and wala ma ganun uh-huh. um but recently a few no actually last year i was starting to get involved with voice acting i've been taking classes and i was considered uh-huh. to like audition for a nickelodeon show to be like the voice actor for a character oh yeah wow. it's like hi my name is dima how are you parang ganun pero uh-huh. it didn't work out unfortunately but yari lang we're going to keep trying for different projects so yeah. yeah wow that's really good so like i i also saw one of your videos um because like in phase one mm-hmm. we had the fans um speak and oh, yes. they showed me a video of you performing so you would really perform already before pvp yeah performing has been always like uh core, like a center core of my life honestly um i feel like i'm not fully existing if i'm not performing honestly i know it sounds cheesy but i feel like it's truly what i am um because i started at first just singing karaoke with my mom that was she enrolled me in mga workshops and stuff like that eventually i started performing as an individual as gail banawis and then um i would try sometimes with theater productions but mostly i would perform for filipino artists if my artist na dara thinks uh New York I'll be like one of the front acts um and then I ventured into doing original music someone wrote music for me and then now I'm starting to write for myself as Struggle which is a diff- my artist name now wow yeah. all right so like if you were to choose mm-hmm. because um would you rather be a singer or would you rather be an actress that's a really hard question because Um the very point I feel like for art and performance in general is the beauty of the connection, you know? And that's really the forefront of why I'm doing what I'm doing in my opinion because with music because I have a bigger background in music. I went to high school for vocal music where you Maha Classico are like Ansel Elgort or Timothy Chalamet and like Jennifer yeah. Aniston came from that school like um I have a much bigger background so of course it has a heavier weight on me but acting um is a different ball game but it's also something I really want to um get into more because with my very little experience in comparison with music um there's something very special about having to channel a different person a different human a different mm-hmm. character in a parang It's part of the human experience and if you're able to connect and become someone else I feel like you become a better person which I feel like is, at the end of the day is the best thing that could happen. All right. Really cool. All right. So for you what is success for you? Hmm. I feel like success and happiness parang related naman sila but okay so happiness is when you're able to freely be yourself freely express um and freely exist but then i feel like success is when you're able to do all of that while being able to uplift others and make others happy by oh, wow. yeah, being uh, yourself oh, well, wow. thank you for oh my god <laughs> But okay. yes, um when you're able to be yourself while helping others, inspiring others. That in my opinion is success because at the end of the day, we're here to help each other. You know, and I oh feel like gosh, that's why God made us. One. Oh my god. Wow, look at your supporters. Thank Go. you guys. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, keep going. Oh, yeah. So at the end of the day, I feel like um success is being able to be yourself while helping others and inspiring them. Because it's not all about you; it's about other people as well. That's true. All right. So, what is love? Mm-hmm. Love. Okay, love, 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 love. Um, love is not just present, the man, in the relationship sense, in the romantic sense. So, I would say that love is unconditional, understanding. It's being open and um, forgiving. So you could find love in many different places, different people, 
even animals like your dogs if ever but um love is the magic of life love is the meaning of life true okay so what is life then oh <laughs> life life is hmm maybe life would be like the trials the tribulations the journey in order to find and channel and experience that love Right. Okay, so from what I gathered, because mm-hmm. like um, you lived a comfortable life when you were in the States, you were talented, you were already on Sesame Street, you already had like, uh, you were front acts in uh, concerts already. So for you, as a person who already is kind of mm-hmm. ahead of a lot of people, what keeps you motivated when, you know, your life is okay? Mm-hmm. and everything is going fine so how do you find that motivation every day mm-hmm. well um aside from having the passion talaga to perform um i have anxiety so there were many times in my life where i just wanted to give up i wanted to just stop everything i want to stop performing i wanted to just stop existing sometime but Um, there are people that I look up to, whether it be vloggers or influencers, that parang they would say things or do things in their content that really struck a chord with me, that really um, connected with me, and parang gave me the strength to continue in life. And um, I feel like if I'm able to perform and do the things that I love with my passions and everything, and if I'm given a platform with that, that platform I could use for like a greater good because I would like to help other people the way that the people that I support helped me. Parang ganun, because um, it's different talaga if you, the people that you idolize or the people you look up to say something and then it brings the same way with you and you feel the same way. Like if, if I'm able to say that I have anxiety but I'm still continuing to go on And then one of my supporters feels the same way and I could inspire them to keep going. Like that in itself means more than enough. So even though I live a comfortable life, um, I'm not a perfect person. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to function properly. But if I could continue to grow with my fan base, my supporters, because I know pareho pareho lang kami, mga overthinker kami, we have anxiety, that kind of thing. Um, I just want to uplift other people by what I'm doing and if I could reach them then I'm happy wow that's good all right okay so um so just to summarize like you so, so your past work so your acting jobs you've been on Sesame Street you had on Nickelodeon and you would front act in Um, concerts mm-hmm. right? are those all or do you have like commercials or other stuff that you've done um, I haven't done commercials but I've done smaller um, theater productions where I had to be um, Mary Magdalene um, I had to act as Sisa but I was singing her song for a small Noli Mitangere review um, and what else those are the actual productions everything else is like auditions like last round I almost made it but I didn't And oh, I did the Pacquiao oh, yeah, and Weather fight. Then. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I Wish Bus. That. I, I just that. remembered. <laughs> yeah. Wow. How is it like singing? Yeah. Even though it was a group of people singing with you, how is it mm-hmm. like? Uh, you know, you're you're part of history, something like that. Oh my God. Um, super nerve wracking. But um, once we got to the ring itself, and then like you stand in the middle, parang tinitina ko yung mga tao pero. Sobrang liit nila. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Oh, my much. gosh. Even a darna. Congrats. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, but yeah, hindi ko nakikita yung mga tao. So at that time, once I was in the ring, everything was gone. But just the very fact, like even when I say it, that I was part of the fight of the century, parang ang weird ng feeling. Hindi pa lang sisinkin until now. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy I indeed. Would, I would kill to, to have something like that. That's crazy. Oh. Thank you. So like, so like, Like when you stepped in there, was 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 it a different feeling? Like when everything was palpitating? Because we've done fights before, so mm-hmm. although our stadium was three thousand people, but this mm-hmm. one is probably like fifteen, ten, fifteen 
thousand people. How is that feeling like being in the center, like all that energy being pulled towards you guys, and you guys are yeah. singing the national anthem? So what was going through your head, or something like that? I. Inside, I was saying, oh my God, Gail, please do not crack. Wag ka pumiyok. Gail, please. Because this is on national television. It's live. It's Pacquiao's fight. Grabe ka. Hello, what are you doing? And why are you even here? I'm just overthinking. But then, um, once it's time for the show, you got to do what you got to do. Diba? So everything just goes out. And you have to inhale, exhale, release everything. Forget the fact that Beyonce is in the audience. Like, <laughs> you know? But how was that energy though? Like, did, what, energy. was it a different? Because because you performed in front of a lot of people when you mm-hmm. front act. But is mm-hmm. that a different energy? Super different. In the Pacquiao fight, yeah. what's the difference? Because the debate some concerts usually like the audience will behave, they'll listen to the music, deba, record, record. But okay. for Pacquiao, you know, it's a it's a mixture because everyone wants to see the fight. Everyone is cheering. Pinoy pride, alam mo naman, Filipino. Once they're excited, you can't hold them back, deba. So it, it was extremely gratifying at the same time because at least, you know, I'm here for the Philippines to represent the Philippines and sobrang iba yung energy. Pero, ano, nakaka, nakaka-excite and nakaka-happy din at the same time. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so like, how how are you part of that group? Was that mm. like, uh, how, how did that come together? Oh, well, actually what happened was... Um, I think before that was the fight with Bradley and I actually auditioned for that fight so that I could sing for that fight. But I think there was some miscommunication within the management that someone else ended up singing. So then sinabi na ni senator na the next time there's another fight since you auditioned already ikaw na lang you'll get it. So then I found out Mayweather Pacquiao I was like, "Oh, are you sure?" <laughs> Like, I'm just a small performer from New York. Are you sure you want to have me? And he's like, yeah, because I'm, he wants to be fair. And at least I auditioned beforehand and he made a promise. So he wants to move forward with it. And yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So, so like, how, how is it like being behind the scenes for something like that? Like, mm. Like, how was it? Like, were you backstage with, uh, did you see the other performers? Did you see the, the Floyd Mayweather team? How was that whole, how was that whole thing? Oh, the whole vibe. It was a mixture because it's a super big place, yung MGM Grand Arena, diba? So, means I saw the team of Mayweather, that was like, they're very cocky and everything. Like, ha, 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 yo, yo, like, they have their bling and everything. That was yung mga teammates ni, ano, ni Pacquiao, they have all, like, the colors and they're very... I'm passionate as well. Tapos yung mga tao, minsan may mga artista doon na mga Americano talaga. Napaselfie talaga ako doon. But, um, yeah, it's just a different energy, definitely, because I'm used to just watching the fights at home on the TV. But in person, yeah, it's like, I don't know, I feel like the energy is so masculine at the same time. But, I know, it's really exciting. And um, to see the fans... Um, to see some of the fans also like kind of fight a little bit verbally was also endearing to watch but oh really so, so, so they would argue the fans would shout at each other a little the... bit yeah but they would tame like tone it down a little bit but there was a little bit of um, friction sometimes between fans oh wow that's crazy that's a Super. crazy experience to be honest with you that's mm-hmm. Insane. Yeah. Okay, so go go going back. So like um if you were to choose, would you rather be in a movie or a or a teleserie? Hmm. I'm more of a teleserie person because I like having the installments of the moments of what's happening. That was I know. Um because if a movie like everything happens all at once. Sometimes you want to see more character development, more development within the story, diba? Um, yeah. But I feel like with a teleserie, sometimes things could also change in between episodes because of the response to a certain character or something like that. So I feel like it's more exciting with a teleserie because um, things are still up in the air. Not everything is solid. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. All right. 
Um, what are your other hobbies aside from mm. singing? Aside from singing, songwriting, um, I do love podcasting. I have a podcast with one of my best friends. We talk about um, life in New York as Phil M. 20-somethings trying to navigate. Um, I also like, um, I used to work as a, a reactor for a YouTube channel before. So that's something that I'm trying to do again with my YouTube channel. Because I like editing videos. Um, I don't know. There's something really fun with it. And um, other hobbies, let's see. I do like reading a lot of self-help books because I'm more of a quote seat type of person and words really mean a lot to me. Um, and I love getting new words of um, inspiration and stuff. What else? I like taking pictures. I'm not a photographer, but I know anything creative and artsy is something that I like to get into. Yeah, man. All right, I mean, so where, where do you see yourself five years from now? Where do you see yourself five now. years from now? Hmm, five years from now, I would be 30. Wow. Um, so five years from now, I, because I feel like I was brought here in the Philippines for a reason. So I would like to think I'm dito pa ako sa Pilipinas. Um, hopefully still with a good musical career, hopefully as an actress as well. Hopefully, um, five years from now, I don't know how things work, but hopefully I'm partnered with some sort of uh, mental health foundation because I really want to advocate for youth mental health um, and also maybe have some sort of clothing line because what I did in um, PBB for Team Survivin, a lot of my supporters are still asking if we could actually make the shirts um, and make it a thing, make it a line. So that's definitely something I'd like mm -hmm. to get into in the future. Um, and hopefully just be a creator and hopefully have my parents here in the Philippines instead. Because ang hirap talaga sa US, they're doing everything themselves. If I could have them here na lang, um, I would enjoy everything, the whole experience much more better. That's true. That's true. So like ikaw, uh, mm -hmm. bilang isang actress, pero ka bang mga, uh, mga non-negotiable sa tawag doon? E, mm -hmm. Ito yung mga bagay na kapag ganito ako, pass po na ako sa project. So like for example, kapag kontrabida, ayaw ko. Kapag mm -hmm. uh, hindi straight yung uh, role ko, ayaw ko. Do you have mga ganon? Mm, no, none that come to mind. Um, I mean, if someone feels I'm a good fit for a role, game naman ako. Like I said, um, acting is part of experiencing what humans are like. And if we're able to channel different parts of ourselves into different characters, game naman ako. And also I've heard that my face, I, I don't exactly have the friendliest face. Um, so I could be a contrabida if needed. If you want me to, I'm game for it. If you want me to be a friendly person, I'm game to anything. There's no, I don't know, no limitations. All right. Um, have you have you heard of our production and what we've been able to do? Um, so yes, I heard that. I think you guys used to do um, like uh, clothing for um, sports or like sportswear, that sort of thing. But now you're branching out into doing more um, media and having your own series and everything. So I think that's really cool that you're opening up because especially during this quarantine that there's so many possibilities of what you could do. Uh, have you seen our series, uh, Beauty and the Boss? Honestly, I've only seen clips, um, but right. but I, I will say it. this. I will say this. When I watched it, I really enjoyed it. Honestly, because um, one of my favorite teleseries of all time is Be Careful With My Heart. So it reminded me of yeah. that. And then I feel like mm -hmm. rom-coms need to happen more often here in the Philippines. Especially mm -hmm. during this pandemic and during this quarantine, parang super nega yung mga vibes because of I know what's happening on the news and everything. And Filipinos love kilig. So if we could have more kilig on TV, like everyone is going to enjoy it. We need more positive and good vibes. And um, I think you're also having a rom-com coming up, correct? Yes, we have yes, a series so that we're developing right now. That is great. I applaud you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Okay, that's cool. Um, what else do I have here? Okay, so you have acting experiences, you have scene experiences. 
Have you modeled before? Because you're tall. Yeah, I have. Um, I've modeled for um, Rene Salud, Albert Andrada, um, and a lot of different Filipino artists, Filipino designers that visit the, uh, the States. Okay. Have you always been a PBB fan or just now? Mm. So I've heard about PBB before, but um, I got into PBB during a new season of my mic. I say Will Dasovich was there, and I'm a subscriber. So parang na intriga ako. I'm like, I wonder what PBB is like because I'm a supporter and I want to see how he's going to um, yeah. act and how he's going to be there. Since I think vlogging wasn't very popular at the time in the Philippines. So after that, um, I always had this want to audition. But then, alam ko laging nasa Pilipinas yung mga no yung mga audition. So I'm in the States and then I'm focusing on school and my career and there's really no time for me to line up and go to the Philippines. Until now, um, when we heard that there's virtual auditions, I went with it because I don't want to regret not doing it. True. Galay. Wow. Very good. Um, okay, okay, so as an actress, mm -hmm. do you have my emotions? Do you have like your top three emotions that you feel like you can really uh, project on camera? Mm. I feel like the number one is um, anger because just with my past experiences, um, I've always been more of like the contra vida or um the one that's always angry for some reason but i think it's because i always have to be calm and collect myself that i maybe i have some repressed anger somewhere the <laughs> bottom when it comes to a role na lalabas ko, ganun. um i think also if you need someone who's a bit more kenkoy, ganun, kaya ko din yun. um like i said because i have more of a rbf I have to like overcompensate by seeing friendly to everyone um, with expressions and stuff like that. And another emotion, um, maybe sadness, as long as I'm able to like get a moment to kind of think of something um, in the past that would deliver that emotion. All right, all right. Pero, um, kamo si Tagalog mo? Like, for example, if we give you a role that requires maybe like mm -hmm. 10 lines of like straight Tagalog, like a whole mm -hmm. paragraph, mm -hmm. kaya mo ba? No, as long as you give me like the lines, kaya ang kaya. Because I used to have roles that were fully in Tagalog. And as long as I know it, um, kaya ang kaya. No, walang accent, parang. Walang accent, wala talaga. Perfect. Note that on that. Interesting. All right, I think you've covered all my questions. Oh. Um, galeng. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't have any more questions. Ikaw, do you have? Because uh, we still have ten minutes here. Oh my, oh my god. gosh! I'm not told you. Wow, look at your face. Why? Thank you, guys. Salamat talaga. <laughs> Galing, galing. Um, did you watch our batch of uh, from uh, Pinoy Big Brother or not really? Okay. So honestly, um, I would try to avoid PBB because parang nasasaktan ako na walang opportunity for us ano in different countries ganun. But I would watch I clips see. naman, and I super loved ano watching you and Kiara to be honest. <laughs> Ang cute niyo, especially the part where ano um you were in the boys' bedroom and then she would peek in. That was one of my favorite moments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were trying I to hide it. That. Pero, ano, hindi pa rin. Ganun. <laughs> Lol. So, like, in, in bahay ni Kuya, were you able to, like, did somebody court you? Or what, was there anything like that that happened? Um, um, actually, the last few days of my stay sa bahay, it was around, ano, Valentine's week. And um, that was when someone revealed to me that he has feelings which was ralph oh so i was like whoa my <laughs> and um i didn't Ooh. know can i ask who oh ralph ralph okay 
Yeah, I was surprised because um, before that, I kind of had like a small crush already, but I'm not the type to show it. Um, and then turns out he felt the same way. So, yeah. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay, that's cool. So how, how was that like? So, like, we're... Like, what happened the day after? So, was it awkward or not really? How was the, how was the whole thing? Hindi naman kasi um, si Ralph, when, when I was in the house, ang daldal niya sa mga ibang housemates. But when it comes to me, super torpe niya. Like, he's so quiet and he avoids me. That's what <laughs> Pero parang the last okay. couple of days, nag-effort na siya to get to know me, to speak to me, ganun. Uh-huh. And then, on my last day, which was when I was evicted, it was Valentine's Day. So, alam mo naman si Kuya, madami siyang paandar, mga ganun. So, we had the boys um, write letters to girls and give them roses and dance. So, um, Ralph wrote me a letter, he gave me a rose, and I was able to dance with him as well. Oh, that's mm-hmm. interesting. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have five more minutes. Um mm-hmm. You covered all my questions. Is there something you want to ask me or is there something that you want to talk about? Because we, you answered all, all the things I want to cover. Oh, wow. Ah, ah. Grabe, ah. Nice. Ano ba? Kasi ito mga fans mo, ah. <laughs> Salamat, guys. Oh, my God. Grabe. Wow. Grabe. Uh, is, is there anything you want to talk about? Um, actually, you want to talk about? Um, why the sudden change into, you know, media? Interesting question. Um, actually, because um, I've only discovered this recently, um, because I, when I was a kid, I've always done, I've always done business, and I've always yeah, because we were part, uh, ne- negotiante talaga kami, and then I started selling, you know, athletic wear and stuff like that, and it did it did really well, and then when I started venturing in, into events. I started loving it. I, I loved it. Like imagine, three thousand people go to your event because they believe in what you've been able to accomplish, what you've been able to create. Because for me, it's ra- rather than I, I like the experience. I like giving people experiences, which is why I'm so intrigued about your experience in the Mayweather fight. Because like, uh, you know, like you can always buy something but you can never recreate experiences like that and for people to take time out of their day to to get to like to, to purchase a race kit or to purchase a ticket and actually go there and like when they post about it they're like wow this is the greatest um, event i have been to so like those things get me up every every day because for me happiness is seeing other people happy so that's why I, I'm so in love with fans. I so like PVV has been amazing because mm-hmm. now you'll be able to give love and receive love times 10 and you're not even doing much. Yeah. Unlike before, I had to create an event where people like 3,000 people will go to get that kind of reaction. Whereas now you just post something and, and you, know, you get that kind of, right. yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, the kind of love, and then so from there, I realized since that is my whole thing is it, making other people happy. Yeah, yeah. And so I have this, uh, I have this uh, foundation called Genus Wish. So this is where we go around, mm-hmm. even though in the pandemic, because I realized a lot of people lost their jobs during the pandemic. So we go down and we really help the communities, and mm-hmm. you know, seeing their faces. Oh, mm-hmm. artista to, uh, but then like you know, I'm doing. A lot of, I'm giving to them. I'm, you know, appearing house to house. You know, like not a lot of people do that. But right. for them, like you know, from being sad to happy, just by you know seeing that, you know that that really makes my day. And and then now it's venturing into series, creating mm-hmm. series because that's you a know, big jump. <laughs> it it brings it brings a lot of people together. It brings a lot of people together. Like now. I was able to meet you, all the other housemates, I was able to meet their fans too, which is why I love, like, you know, I post on Twitter and I love the comments that are coming mm-hmm. in, even though, like, people might like it, people might not like it, but, you know, the, the whole thing is creating this whole, to, to entertain the people, 
So like, you know, like in all our mga series, I always say it's, it's as long as they get entertained by our series, I love it. And you know, coming from you that you like um, you 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 like the whole experience of watching even the clips of Beauty and the Boss. Mm-hmm. It really means a lot to me because it means that, you know, somehow some way I've impacted your experience and you mm-hmm. know, that's what I live for. Right. Diba? I'm not really motivated by money or anything kasi sa totoo lang kasi may, may mga negosyo kami so okay naman kami it's for mm. me it's I love I, I, I relish in that energy kasi mm. when I used to do talks kasi I would do mga business talks and stuff with mga at least like 500 people nothing like the 10,000 of like um, Pacquiao but you know getting that kind of energy right. I, I, I feel that so mm. I can only like the biggest I've gone to is 3,000 people, but imagine 15,000 people. That's a totally different experience. Imagine, because I feel that energy with 500 people or even 100 people, but imagine 15,000. That, that just pulls down into the center, and that's just you there. You and you know your crew with the two biggest boxing stars ever, you know? I don't know. Like For, for me, those experiences that I need to... I want to get that out of you because I want to, oh. I want to, even though I can't experience it, at least learn about it. Uh-huh. Yeah, Those yeah, are yeah. the things that I really like. Um, yeah, so it's just a little bit about why we kind of do these things. That's why other production companies don't even do this. Right. <laughs> I, I, but for me, I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun That's... meeting so many people, meeting so many fans. Right. You know, it's, it's fun. That's great. Yeah, it is fun. I, I find it. Diba? Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. I love how you're doing it though, because um, as like ex housemates and you're an ex housemate yourself, like um, you're using like your own platform yeah. to kind of give us a chance. So honestly, I feel like really grateful. I don't know what's gonna happen with this, but I'm still very grateful that you're having me here, for giving me a chance, and props to you for you know just using your power for parang good in my opinion, because you're really helping us out with this. You're giving us, I don't know, like Hopefully. an opportunity to voice our own um, wants and to kind of share with the fans and people who don't know us who we are as people. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Okay, so um, okay, so before I let you go, is there mm-hmm. anything you want to say to all of your fans here and supporters? Oh my God! Oh my God! Gail Natic, Snug Gales, babies, grab it, kayo. Thank you guys so much for having me here. Tapos um, yung mga tipis nyo to have me back here for Facebook, grab it, kayo. Salamat talaga sa support. Uh, yung mga gifts nyo, oh my God. Ano tayo? 1.8 million grab it, guys. <laughs> Salamat talaga. Um, thank you for all of your good vibes and your positivity. Because uh, honestly, kanina kinakabahan ako. But then seeing your tweets and your messages, you're throwing back my own lines at me and i was like wow <laughs> so yeah <laughs> thank you so much for using my own words against me guys you do you be true stay true don't do unto others what you don't want done unto you Maganon. so sobrang cute you guys and thank you so much for being here and thank you sir gino for having me as well thank you everyone <laughs> love you all <laughs> all right okay thank you gail i'll thank see you, you so soon much. take care right. take care bye bye All right, that was uh, si Gail. So, salamat sa lahat ng support na galing sa inyo. Malaking bagay talaga. Okay, so, ang, well, sa akin dito, nag-peak at 7.26. Tama ba? When did we peak? 8.61. 8.61. Okay. So, check na ang mamaya yan, ha? That's the 861. Okay, so you're at here, here. 861. Okay, so let's just, again, salamat talaga sa lahat ng support. Um, again, we still have seven minutes um, for Team Gale. So before we calculate everything, gusto ko lang sabihin na salamat. Um, okay talaga na nag-extend kami for Phase 2. Um, okay, meeting uh, meeting Gail, meeting Kobe. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, I 
ayun. Um, again, salamat sa suporta sa bago natin series at saka salamat sa suporta na binibigay ninyo sa mga housemates na mga aspiring actors and actresses. Um, ginagawa ko to kasi syempre, since baguhan lang sila sa industriya, kailangan ma-match yung role. Um, again, sa Forza Productions natin, gusto namin magbigay ng bosses kayo yung mga fans. Pero again, we can get all of them, we can get three, we can get two, we can get one housemate, or we can get none. So, depende pa rin sa story, depende sa character, kung sino sila, at saka kayo, depende din sa mga fans. Kasi nakikita namin yung mga comments ninyo sa Twitter, sa Instagram, at saka dito sa Kumu, nakikita talaga namin. Um, ayun, salamat. So, makikita natin mamaya or bukas kung mag-extend pa tayo or we'll move on sa phase 3, depende pa rin sa inyo. Again, salamat sa mga supporters ni Gail. Okay. So, we peaked at 861, which is the third, which is ramp number three. Okay. Uh, we, have, we, we will wait five minutes ano, before we calculate the ano, um, totals. Nila. Ayun, kamusta naman ang usap namin ni ano, uh, Miguel? Ano yun na nakuha ninyo? Ano yung mga natunan ninyo? Yes, well, well what I really liked about si Miguel is that, well, syempre, may mga experience siya na hindi ko naranasan. Kasi usually, Ako yun may marami experiences uh, tungkol sa mga events, yung pagnanegosyo, yung mga ganun. Pero si Gil, you know, no, singing in front of that many people in such a historic fight is... Uh, I don't even know how that feels, <laughs> di ba? Okay. Uh, so, meron pa tayo 4 minutes. So, for Team Gale, baka kayo, meron kayong mga tanong sa akin. Pwede ko naman sagutin kung kaya. Possible ba roughly? Depende. Depende sa ano, what's going to happen soon. Yung criteria for choosing, kasi syempre yun ano, kailangan fit sa story, kailangan fit sa character. Kasi as sinabi ko dati na, yun ano, um, dapat hindi malayo yung character sa kung sino talaga sila. Kasi, ayun, baguhan lang sila dito sa industriya, dito sa Pilipinas. So, ayun, tapos kayo din yung mga fans, may say din kayo din. Ayun, salamat. Okay, so in phase 3, paano yung phase 3? So, um, depende. Pero yan, medyo mga, may mga acting na dun. We're going to see how they act. Um, so, whether ipar private natin or dito sa Kumu. Kung gusto ko, syempre, Kumu. Kasi gusto ko a witness din ninyo, di ba? Uh, ilang phase? Well, hanggang phase 3, tapos ayun, pipili na kami. Ah, impression about si Gail. Uh, first impression, uh, based on her looks lang, parang, ayun, Mukha naman siya mabait. Sabi niya naman, sa sabi niya na hindi siya mukhang mabait. Hindi, parang mukhang mabait naman. At saka gusto ko talaga malaman yung mga experiences niya. Kasi ayun, dahil sa inyo yung mga fans, yung mga supporters, nalaman ko na nasa Sesame Street siya, 
na kumanta siya in front of you know, a lot of people. Tapos meron pala siyang um, experiences sa singing, sa concerts, yung mga ganon. I want to... Uh, I wanna know more about those experiences. Kasi ako, I love giving experiences and hearing about you know, those kinds of experiences. <laughs> Ayun, ano pa? May questions pa kayo? We still have two minutes. Okay. Alright. Okay, so let's calculate, shall we? So we are at Okay. Okay, wow, okay. All right, so just to uh you stating the facts here. So for today see uh Kobe peaked at 610 people with a total of uh, 548.9 thousand diamonds, whereas Team Gale peaked at 861 people with a top with a total of 1.306 million diamonds. Wow! Congratulations, guys. Okay, so parang just to give you a sense, in sa in sa leaderboard natin. Uh, Team Ralph uh, hit 541 people with a total of 208.7 thousand diamonds. Team Chris Moore picked at 340 people with uh, 520.2 thousand diamonds. Team Ella picked at 1,101 people with 1.343 million uh, diamonds um, Andrea uh, peaked at 1,666 people with a total of 546,100 diamonds so top one top one for um, number of viewers peak viewers is team Andrea with 1,666 people. Um, second place goes to Ella with a total of 1,101 people. And uh, third place goes to um, team Gale with a total of 861 people. Um, Top three for uh, diamonds. Number one, very close. Number one is a uh, team Ella with a total of one point three four three million diamonds. Second place is Gale with one point three zero six, um, and then third place is Kobe. Third place is Kobe with. 548.9 thousand diamonds. All right. Congratulations sa lahat. Um, again, we can get all of the housemates. We can get two, we can get one, or we can get none. So, depende pa rin sa story, uh, depende pa rin sa characters, at saka depende pa rin sa inyo, ang mga fans. All right. Um, Hindi po 1.8 sigil because Kobe got 500. All right. 
Okay, thank you guys. Again, malaking bagay talaga para sa akin. Nandito kayo. Uh, sumusuporta ninyo ang mga ang mga um, iniidolo ninyo. Malaking bagay talaga. Na, ayun, so we'll see kung extend natin. Kasi parang naging okay yun ano, yung usapan, yun, 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 uh, usapan namin um, ni Gail at saka si Kobe. So baka we missed out on a few people. Baka tama nga. So, 